Okay. Let's go back into this. Ba, 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 ba. Ba. Oh, this the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner. You're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of it, is it? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Hans Corporal Vaxlav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Klein. Careful, you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You hey. say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high rankings sell the <coughs> war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Batslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind <coughs> you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. <laughs> What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I... But I plow and have been. And he's coming with me. Nice. In you go, get out. Thanks. But my orders. Fuck your orders. <coughs> Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No. Stand to attention. Shut your gig in. Oh, the lads will be rolling back in the barracks. Sucked it. Now march. Round you go. One, two, one. Appreciate the help. Good night. Always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you is a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey cleaned the scene. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what this is about. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases and a master portraitist to the Maribors. And the new. Long indeed. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do you? What do you mean, why, Gerald? I've got to diversify my investments. <coughs> I sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novograd. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered horse a preferential tax date. Zero percent. Nice. <laughs> Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've near seen the pure example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, but little I keep his soul. But Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you to him. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Which way? What? Come on. You thought the 
buying real estate. <coughs> Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kabiri Max? Come on. You know damn well hmm. that makes no the sense. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye, and? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, they won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my <coughs> most interesting associates. Okay. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Elbert. You coined that one. Came into a right fortune playing quiet. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like no. <coughs> Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but <coughs> your guild is unmistakable. Your madame. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin? What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations dating from my distant <coughs> youth. Didn't you see such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Gavon. But apart from my bed in Maniaca, I also own a number of mills. Your most prized piece, what would it be? An armor element, an antique, School of the Wolf, from 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento, one of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with, or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could free. I charge 5%, a modest uh, uh, transaction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what she's got. They may never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Oh, she's got diagrams. <clears throat> Required level 29. Let's get those. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horse Boss Lady insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what he No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Always on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an ear a while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Bimmy. All right. Find her earrings. Where's the stairs down? A landscape. <coughs> Come on, Geralt, move faster. Oh. oh, is it? Oh, it's inside somewhere. I guess it must be. I can't. <laughs> I can't leave. Must have to escape through the balcony. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's literally oh, doors open. I beg your pardon, but well, have we met? But I believe quite. Indeed. Mm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Mm. There's no earring out here, is there? Mm. 
None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? <gasps> he was a tin yeah. shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? The man taught me everything I know. What? How is he? Oh, God. If you don't mind my asking. <clears throat> don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I had lived on memories. <clears throat> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? He died a hero. No, he died like a hero. Absolutely. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit mad woman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. <laughs> and now, be so kind. To my thoughts. Hellband, it's been years. <coughs> Allow me to introduce you, sir. Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. No. <clears throat> Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard. But I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. Patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt here is a positively superb player. Superb! Hmm. We got a minute before the auction <coughs> starts, so. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Let's do it. Maybe around? Let's do it. <coughs> Come on. Come on. I suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, get up. Make a happy <coughs> word. What is it? Well, mate, since I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your wealth. Oh, my God. Ten percent. <laughs> okay. I find this for yourself. Okay. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learned in my tree, friend. Coin than a stick. Yes. So... You can have ten percent. Well, you did help us guard to the door. <laughs> yes, right. it's fair. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't push it, Vimmy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't right. be here without you, so Game on. it's fine. Okay. 
Whoa, he's only got five more cards in his deck. That's crazy. <coughs> What are we gonna go with? Let's just lay down all these in the fourth round. Has another one. <coughs> Let's hope he doesn't. So I guess I win then. I thought it was ass. I guess it, yeah, it doesn't. I, I'm just an idiot. That doesn't. It doesn't matter though. Unbelievable. Oh, I got gone through him. You cheated. You must have something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the guard. <coughs> a poor girl takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, oh, oh. interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Get absolutely right. Oh, someone's here. Any tales? Hello. I've not seen you before among the well healed. <laughs> oh shit, that's starting the auction. Whoops, should have talked to the other person. Sorry. Vinny, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Host Wasodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! Knew the bug would get you. <laughs> Let's see what they have. <coughs> Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. Mm. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? Oh boy, Twice, everything. Once, twice, thrice. Splendid, Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? Bitch, you are not going to beat me. My, my, this is... <coughs> I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe. <coughs> Starry night over the Pontar. <laughs> okay. Truly a bargain at 20, 20 crowns. Come on, man. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold Van Rose Starry Night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. 
A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. <laughs> a frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Ooh. What's the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor? Oh, very mysterious. Starting price of 200 crowns. Oh, Anyone shit. Went Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible. With the white haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crap. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to <coughs> intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh shit. Oh, Geralt, look! Horse Pasudi! Come on before some other cocks are to steal him. Just well, don't expect a warm welcome. Okay. I'm used to that, I suppose. Greetings, horse. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia. Who comes uninvited. Exactly. Pretty serious oversight. I see no reason why the faux pas should taint our newfound acquaintance. <laughs> acquaintance? I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my <coughs> hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, me. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. No reason to trouble the guards, I guess. Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated oh my ass God, out. I'll fucking kill you, man. I hate being treated like this. I'm Geralt, and I'm fucking Rivia. This is the respect I get. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Mm. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, I. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable oh, gentleman. Come on. Mm -hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Okay. Get! You'll do what? Come here, you piece of shit. Get fucked! Get fucked! Chop! 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 Oh shit! Wrong guy! I'm aiming at the wrong guy! Ah! Right, he's fucked. Serious. Chop! Chop! Get! Get! Give me back my fucking swords. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Why didn't the bring that? Your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsoli's house alone. Mm. Really think you can help me? We can help each other. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. 
a heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist who lives near Oxford. Ask for some yarrow extract. Mm. You'll know where you've come. Yarrow. This is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. shit. You know what I mean. Now, I'd be here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. In the back. This is not the back, this is clearly downstairs. We come on, fall. You have come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the boss so this book. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Hmm. That is worth something. Time to set it in motion. You want I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me anyway, anyhow, you won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. <laughs> I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Personi's house is. I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Uh, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What do they take? Less to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in? Oh, I'm in. I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Richard. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the ocean house, day and night. The trolls walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Try to get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, diamond in but mm. not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness. Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bounds. We've got to get up there. 
there he'd sneak across to the auction house and then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the boat door. And voila. Looks bleak to me. Tower wall smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more appearances. One to scale the tower and drop us a line. The other to open the boat. The safe crack. Hmm. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Of course. Mm -hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. Well, that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we not back around? Talks a mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Mm. Then, there's the retaining patrols to cover it. Too many wandering around. You'll get noticed. Alright, one second. Circus artist, not better as the uh, Just now performing with a troupe somewhere near Oxenford. My speciality is rhythmic gymnastics. Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the router troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a but if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. The half -man. Think he's fit? Pudgy face. Doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felt monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town all in no time. So... Word has it he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently weak and dangerous. Wicked. Alright, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahaka. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt in it. Both door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonator some time ago. He married, sired some little ones, and settled in the village of Orpus. My way turns down. Any options? Quinto. The North's most famed safe cracker. I'll probably go the for that. <clears throat> him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kabir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris. A prick nurse. Safe cracker seems like the man. Best way. Slew an arch griffin for him. 
mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. <clears throat> so I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, they say. Too many suspicions. Another mm. formula for a potion that might do the trick. Well, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You can also use your fists. Yeah, we're doing a heist, boys. All right, Let's do it. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways. All together. Okay. I'm up for that. That guy was mean to me and very rude. So, <laughs> yeah, let's let's take all this shit. Right. Yeah, the safe cracker. We, yeah, we want to talk to this with the Quinto guy, right? That's who we really want. If I can avoid, but it seems like blowing something up is like uh, that. Just doesn't seem like the way to go with something like this, you know. Get up out of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which are seasonings? I got started. There's loads of loads of missions to do. Hold on. You might be held. Quinto. The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa! I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep <laughs> clear of the cage. Right? What did he do to step on your toes? Ours? Not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. But a tidy price on his head they did. And as Master Hans of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Ah. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays oh, me. Oh, come on. You? Let's see how much he wants. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And it's just as I said, anything over shut, the ground. Stop interrupting. I don't Where to was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. Same as the wanted posters say. 200? Okay. I'll call it my loss. Here. Ah, nothing quite like the weight of a purse full of gold. Right, Quinto. You're dumb as shite, but look here's... What? How did you... Fishbone. Did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out. Witcher showed up before I could. Let that be my recommendation. Now, do tell. What's he need me for? Need you to open something for me. Something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. All right. That's a good move. Now, Evelyn seems like the way to go on this one, right? I think that would make more sense. I guess it doesn't matter that much, but... I think we'll go for her. <coughs> Let me see if I can make that stuff, actually. Uh, cleansing mixture. Okay, need more stuff. Wolf Spain and shit.
in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? The Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine. Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you, talk. What do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Mm. Anonymous performance. <coughs> no audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Eveline, I beg you. You don't know him. What's that supposed to mean? He introduced himself. Did you not hear? Geralt of Rivia. Stop pretending you don't understand me. You cannot know if he's to be trusted. You can trust me. Soul can be trusted. Or kill. <laughs> mm. You've none of a thing's features. But you see, I have a problem. Okay. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Thorkai Van. Oh, gosh. Well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. Mm. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits. So either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but not spent <laughs> Okay. Uh, I think I know where this is going. Then I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. Do what do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Eveline, I'm not certain that's a good idea. Neither am I. It shall all come out in the wash. So, Witcher, what'll it be? Dawn. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. Let's what? begin. I mean now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. Hit it square on. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try. All right, do or die. Let's begin. It really that depends I on the time. Like. A man who boldly dares, damn the risks. Come. Risks be damned, I say. You know. And now, <laughs> good folk, the highlight of oh, our no. program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, <laughs> and Lovin. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, Ozzy. Wow, What's going on? Roy! You good boy? What? But I. Shh, Geralt. Grab your crossbow and get to work. All right. Watch this, guys. Audience members, check this. Oh no. Is there another one? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> we end with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. Thank God. Thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. Almost killed that guy. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elves. That would have been brilliant. You know. Doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. I doubted it too. Fine work, Geralt. <laughs> well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell. Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. Door mysteries. Till later, Witcher. Alright, so we have to make this mixture. So I need to, uh. I need to buy. What do I need? I forget. A dwarven spirit and wolf spade. Let me see if I can buy some off, uh. Well, well. Uh, I don't want to play Gwent, I don't care about what you're saying. Like. Uh. Oh, he's actually got, he's got Gwent cards. I'll buy all those. Thank you.
<clears throat> Should be good. Oh, I will take those. Alright. I guess we should, uh... Oh, where should we go? I guess... I know there's a herbalist here. And I think I can just go to, like... You can probably get a dwarven spirit anywhere in a tavern or something. Welcome. Welcome. <coughs> What have you got there? Any wolf spain? Sir? Oh Jesus, what am I doing? Fifth essence. I don't remember what wolf spain looks like. I'm not going back to check. Still, no bones. Wait, what have you got? Oh, Jesus. Okay. So. That's a bookshop. We definitely don't want that. Right, there's a tavern. Hell yeah. I'm sure you'll have at least have the dwarven spirit. How can I be of service? He doesn't? What the fuck, man? Do I have to find this stuff? That's such trash. See you later. Okay, so where else? Um, where would you buy that stuff? Do I have to just go out into the... The wilderness, you know, <laughs> just hope I can find it. A wolf spain, a dwarf spain. I don't know where to find that. A wolf spain. Should I just run around the. Hold on. Sure, I guess. Uh, and the camp a herbalist is that the is that that's the only herbalist on the entire map? What? That can't seriously be the only herbalist. What? Okay, can I actually buy herbs here? Let me see if he's going somewhere. What have you got over here? What's all this? Organis. Take whatever you got. Hold on. There's not any of those. Jesus fuck. and Ridley. What's this? Pring grape. Ah, okay. Hey there. Let me... Wolf Spain. Do you have to work spirit? Spirit. Alright. 
has yet to bribe the medics to let you off it. Mad or what? As trustee, certifiably insane. <coughs> That's the test of that, yeah? But to pay hard coin to enter the army. But at my age, nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. Gate should be easy enough to find. All right. be the cook. Good day. Fish biting? Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys at the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Signal and mums the word. Understood. All right, we did it. Countess Yvonne of Lan Exeter's necklace. Your handiwork, isn't it? It was. I scaled a gutter, entered her bedchamber. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. We'll be able to after. Or so does auctions, his fault. That's our time. Never line you enter through the tower when the patrol ran into this colony. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, that gallant and his ways. Then, downstairs to the vault. Quinto will crack the lock. We get in the vault, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Nope. Let's do it. All right. Let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about wearing masks? Not a city in the north that don't have wanted posters with my likeness on their back. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. 
Involve the city watch. Blab at anything about this old man. Kill me. The old man. <laughs> okay. I'd like to see that. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? <laughs> Anyone need more time? <laughs> On our way then. One patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Have a line. You ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two. City foul, shy all over again. What? So far, so good. <clears throat> if memory serves, you assured us there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were saying before. This is no time to argue. Could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever, don your masks and let's go. Let's do it. the starting point. Watch this! Guards! Guards! You should have stayed in that cage. You said... I damn well know what I said. <laughs> At them before they sound the alarm. Mm. Oh, 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 God, Jesus fuck. Beat 
his ass with a stick. <laughs> folk. I'm letting them go. Are you mad? Any idea what will happen? Yes. <laughs> and you have any idea what will happen if you try to stop me? Exactly. Out of my way. Now. This is all your fucking fault anyway. Dumbass. An honorable deed. Caught sure to consider it a mitigating factor. Now, you've one minute to come out. One at a time. Hands on your heads! I'm going. Up the chimney and out. It's grown too hot, pure and simple. Best of luck, gentlemen. Drink to our health. Once you're far away. You had your chance! Attack! Still insisting using that wooden <sighs> sword. Get to work, Quinto. We'll try and hold <laughs> off the assault. <laughs> Two spring-loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, Dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. Go in. Geralt, you're at the fort. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. Jesus.
You don't know who you're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah. You? Greetings, brother. Oh, shit. Well, well. Complications, <clears throat> complications. You owe us an explanation, you old Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Forced to cheat him. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, host. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. I mean, you're both a fucking assholes. Not about to meddle, especially not in family matters. Then you'd have done better not to break into my vault. I fear it's too late to turn neutral. Stand with me, and I shall drape you in gold. Stand against me, and you remain here. I'll kill you all. Why do I have to choose? Like, I shouldn't have to choose between them. I should just be able to kill everyone in this room and leave with what I want. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. If that's your They're attitude, both bad options. With you all, then. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them! Jesus. Prefer to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, throw you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold. But I don't mind serving it hot. I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. And walk out as you stand. Just the clothing. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Men. Like a beast. And you the cheek. To plead. Well, I guess that's the satisfying. Exceptionally, you? No, and I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house in this vault, or so you said. And it is there, but I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see, it houses my father. A scroll thanks to which you will divorce Sophie, long missing, will assume. That's never gonna fucking go out of Rivia, who you cheated. What will he assume? Alas, what will he 
was free to choose anything. It's the only thing I want. To me. And you were prepared to let me face horses, thugs alone. To my Now, Max Boss Sonic's ass. If you've Kay. absolutely got to have Good. I prefer it that way. <laughs> Make this quick before the soldiers get down here. As I say, at your service. Mate. It's just so slick. Why? Why do this? Be something here that I can use. I'm gonna take all this stuff. Just give me whatever that is. What have you got back there? <laughs> I guess it's nothing. stuff on it, it's probably way better than what I got. Oh, well. Is it? Okay, it is actually significantly better. Hey up! Oh god. Ah, where am I going? Alright, we did it. <coughs> I mean, me and Evelyn are literally the only people who survived that entire thing. Sometimes I'm not amused. No, why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss soldiers aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Why did you need those papers? To sink the boss soldiers, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man. 
It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Valentin. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Marius Hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Post and you will be annoying on some of them. But thanks to these parents, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May the with it disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The more sodies. What's your gripe? They kicked out of an auction. Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Yes, you tell me what happened. Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family, they took on some debt. A poor investment in a sword. A bad crop on me. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed it but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsoli had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfume prints by my father's son. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horse turned a pretty pile selling all mementos. <coughs> no surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was my start. My Iris's parents learned about family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suit. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tank. And then. Then. I asked the wrong blow for help. What happened then? Uh, what happened then, which was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? You're toward wish. What do you want? Say to something, then we'll chat. You there, yank the herring out the barrel. Come on, none of this dallying. To listen, or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready, I'm listening. Good, you'll return to your lord and tell him as follows His demand was brazen, hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality, and I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood, I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. You don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye. Got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. Let's talk. Their theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Fulfill two of your wishes. I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? 
I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. I'm afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of it. Fail, mm. and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her at last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you are. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this darkness. But one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find it. <coughs> that is, of course, should you succeed. Okay. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you got speed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Mm. Goodbye, Geralt. I understand. Okay.